<laughs> I'm going to say it's the worst I've seen Man United play. I genuinely believe. I thought they were absolutely awful. And they fell behind 1-0 to an Everton side who, again, have been woeful lately. Everton were a side that couldn't defend. And then they played Man United at the weekend. And Fabian Delph rolled back the years and looked brilliant at controlling a midfield. Ben Godfrey dealt with absolutely everything he needed to in defence. And United just had nothing. They couldn't come up with a single thing. What? I don't even know what to ask you really, Dave, on this one, because we know the answers to most of it. But what happened, I guess? Before Everton scored, I don't think we were particularly great, but I mean, we did actually conjure up, you know, two or three chances where we could have scored before they did. And Rashford initially looked quite sharp for about 20 minutes and then just went disappearing for the rest of the game. After Everton scored, we actually got worse as the game went on. Again, we dominated much much of the possession of the game. Um, I think we had about 65% possession, but we just looked lacking in ideas. The creativity wasn't there. I think it took until about the 91st minute where Ronaldo actually had a half chance. Ugly scenes, really, from Ronaldo. He, he kicked the ball into the dugout and got booked for that. And then, obviously, we've had this incident after the game where he's smacked this kid's phone out of his hand in frustration. It just... To me, Dave, it seems like it's gone beyond the performances on the pitch now and it's in the players' heads. None of them look like they really want to be there. It looks so unsettled. None of them look like they've got any confidence at all. I mean, Harry Maguire is a magnet for things to go wrong at the moment. Obviously, his deflection completely wrong foots De Gea, who seems to be the only player who's putting in performances at the moment. You're right, Rashford, I suppose you could say he looked sharp. He just looked like another person who wasn't going to score a goal to me. I watched Jaden Sancho, a player who is completely renowned for his ability to beat a man, to find an incisive pass. And I watched him for years at Dortmund, having that confidence to run at a defender. And every time he got the ball for United at the weekend, he stopped the play, turned around, passed it backwards. And I couldn't believe what I was watching. It just seems like a team that just they, they don't want to be there. They don't want to be on the pitch. They're ready for this season to be over. Now, I wonder what that's due to. I think a lot of them will be missing Solskjaer because clearly he got on with the play as well. A lot of them will be frustrated at the lack of progress the team have made. A lot of them will be against Ralph Ranić. And I do think behind the scenes, there have been enough things going on that pro might be kind of upsetting the, the club. I think it kind of... Listen, they are the last people that really are suffering from this incident. But with everything that happened with Greenwood earlier in the season as well, I can't believe that that hasn't disrupted the dressing room in some way as well. This constant change, this constant lack of progression and a plan. Those players, do they want to be there, Dave, at the moment? There's a lack of accountability, isn't there? You know, you can see it in games. It's almost like you mentioned there passing the ball around, almost waiting for someone else to do something when. Yeah. You know, they need to be playing as a unit. And you mentioned Jaden Sancho there, that there's nobody in that team on his level in terms of, you know, football IQ, no. operating in tight spaces, you know, where to re when to release a ball, when to receive it, you know, the right areas to operate in. I'd probably say Fanat Bruno and Ronaldo, they're only probably a couple of players who got, sort of an idea what to do with the ball and you know it's just so frustrating and that atmosphere must be so toxic at the moment because you know there's constantly things coming out all the time whether players want to be there next season whether uh, they're, whether they're gonna resign a, a new deal Pogba I don't really know why he's playing games anymore because mm. he's definitely not going to be here come next year mm. so why not give an opportunity to a couple of the young players because at the moment could we really do any worse than bring in a couple of under-23s? Just inject some hunger. Well, obviously, there's been massive talk this week that the deal is almost done for Ten Hag. Although I've also read that RB Leipzig are putting in a, a proposal to him as well. Mm. If you're Ten Hag, what, what do you think of United right now? Do you see this as an opportunity for you to take on a big club and do something special? Or would you be a bit apprehensive as to what you'd actually be taking over? There's going to be apprehension there for sure. But he's looking to bring a sleeping giant um, back from the abyss, um, so to speak. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, 
I don't think he realises how big a deal he's a bigger job he's got on his hands. 